Welcome to a great Carl Basic uh, video. This one's on YouTube, or started off on YouTube anyway. Please give this uh, a video a thumbs up. The more thumbs up you give us, the greater the chance that people will find Great Cow Basic on YouTube. Please give a thumbs up. Welcome to a Great Cow demonstration. This is um, a video of um, GLTD drivers. Details of the drivers I've uh, just uh, adapted um, over the last couple of weeks. Um, and uh, suffered. Um, it's November 2014. Let me show you what we're doing. So we've got um, obviously a chip. Um, we've got a GCLD driver, and it now supports four different types of drivers, and they're independent files. So the GLCD driver, that's the GLCD.h file, automatically selects the correct hardware file for the KS018, which is a 128 by 64 GLCD. Um, an ST7920, similar device in terms of pixels, but it has Chinese, Chinese character set. The ST7735, which is an SPI color device. And the Nokia PCD8544 controller device, which is on the Nokia 3110, 5110 devices. So what happens is you select glcd.h and then specify what type of device and it will auto load the configuration files. This makes it much easier for us to expand out and add in other device drivers and adapt the device drivers for other things like LED drivers, etc. So let's have a look at one in particular. We're going to look at the KS0108. Um, this device is um, supports all the standard um, commands of uh, clear screen, print, draw, etc. And all the graphical line box, fill box, etc. So let's have a look at some um, some code. Um, what we've got in the background, I've got the compilers running and editors running. So let's have a let's move this all around for you, so we can have a look through. Let's minimise that. I'll bring a camera up, which is um, looking at the um, my device. There we go. So what, what we've got there is um, a demonstration of a. Uh, KS0108 device, you can see a box on the outside, box at the extremities of the pixels. It's printing a string, drawing a string, drawing a small box within that, it's specifying a uh, particular character, which is of the ASCII value of this number. Then we've got some circles being drawn, a square, and these have been filled, and then a horizontal line and an angled line. And finally, we've got three numbers, a byte value, a word value, and a long value to show that all that code is working correctly. This is the code on the right, on the left. This is the code that we were seeing on the right hand screen. So here is the print screen command, print screen, and draw string, draw string, etc. So let me just add in some, uh, show me how you set this up. Essentially, you just need to add in the glcd.h driver and specify what type of device it is. KS0108. It's this type of device. And so how we select all that is we tell it which pins we're, we're, we're connected to. Um, these are these set of device uh, controls. And these are bit values for the port. The um, CS and CS1 and CS2 really select the chip. So I'll show you on a different type of, on a different um, uh, KS0108 device from, from um, Raystar. The, the KS0108 chip is this main chip that's hun under the label, and then by selecting CS1 and CS2, you select the chip. That chip then controls the left-hand side of the screen, all the pixels, or the right-hand side of the screen. So effectively, what you've got is a left-hand and a right-hand, and these CS commands control which side you're talking to. Our, our software does all that for you. The DB com DBX controls the port, and then you've got the main control lines. I'm using a um, PIC 16F um, 1939 32 megahertz, and it's rattling away quite nicely. I've got some speed controls. I've got some uh, typical uses down here for um, this device. You can change the timings, uh, not them to zero at slower pitches, but you'll get um, other issues. If you if you reduce these to zero at high speed, 
And essentially, that's just um, add some commands in. I'll tell you what I'll do. Was I'll, uh, these are, this is just my code that's been there before. I'll um, put an end command in here uh, just so that we can... Um, we'll uh, just try some commands just to show you. GLCD, clear the screen, and we'll draw a circle. We're going to draw a circle in the middle of the screen. So I'm just going to take some code down here just to show you that there are some commands. So these are stat these are uh, available commands that uh, specify the width. Okay, uh, GLCD width is the width of the device, and the height is the height of the device in pixels. And I'm just going to draw a circle at um, 20 pixels high. So it will give us a that should give us by dividing the width and the height by two a circle in the middle of the screen. We'll do a second one in a moment, a filled, a filled circle, a bit smaller, and then um, we'll see what happens. Whilst that's compiling, I've got my circle. We can see it on the screen here. It's um, it's in the middle. So I'll do a filled circle, and a filled circle. I'll put it at, at 10 pixels high. We should get a circle in within a circle, but one is filled. These commands are common throughout all the GLCD. Uh, device devices, so we haven't got any different commands for different um, chipsets, and um, it's very simple to use. There we go. GLCD um, print. I'm going to print something at the top of the screen. And I'll print something beneath that, but in a different in 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 um. In, in um, I'll draw that same string out. Now, what what the difference is is that some devices don't support um, drawing of those strings, so that you have to use print, and that's all pretty evident. But be ha it's handled automatically. You can call either, and if the chip doesn't support it, we've got it rerouting and redirecting for you, so you don't have to worry about it. But it's for backwards compatibility as well. So we should see um, some text being uh, drawn on the screen there. And we have, and I didn't do it correctly because um, I clearly um, didn't put the right value in it. But one's been uh, type, one's been written on top of the other, and we can just develop that into the same program that I developed previously. And there we go. So we can see that we can control that. Um, I can control. Um, the same. This is um, this device from Raystar. is a Raystar device. Um, I can unplug that and plug it back in, and that will work fine. So that's just a very quick demonstration of um, the GLCD drive in terms of functionality. So, oh, there we go. That and this is what happens when you draw the pixels over the edge of the screen. Okay, that should have been 54 pixels. Um, what's happening here is is that the device is overdrawing, which is quite normal. You know, you've got to control your pixels, locations, etc. Hence you've got these um, global variables of GCLCD width and height and you can do some tests against that to keep it under control. You should now do that correctly. Thank you. So what how is it doing this? So um, once you've loaded this GLCD to H driver, it does a um, it looks for your the configuration of the device. If the GLCD type is set to specific type this is the KS0108 it will set some parameters up and it will auto load the KS0108 hardware device and set up the rerouting of the um, any uh, sp device specific uh, routines the typical uh, common routines are still held in GLCD.h but anything that's specific to a particular device like initializing clearing the screen etc may well be redirected so you'll have to look inside the, the device specific file. Inside of here, these are the device specific files. And they are one, two, three, four, five different functions. Some are private, um, write byte and read byte are private, but it's certainly the others are available to um, you to modify and use in other programs as you see fit. But that was um, essentially what I wanted to show you. If I take this out of here, I'll revert back to my demonstrator. Be careful of what I can warn you. Be careful of pixel sizes, speed of the processor. You might need to use um, latch if necessary, or increase the timing um, in terms of the delay. That's all been exposed in the examples, and that's um, 
a quick demonstration of um, Great Cow Basic. And I think we'll call that a wrap.